This is my answer to the question 7 of the AS Media coursework comparing my old college magazine, which I did early on in the year, um, to my new music magazine, which I've recently finished, and how I've improved along the way. First off, on my cover page, um, I used a colour scheme, uh, which I didn't use on the um, on the first college magazine. Uh, it was just all random colours. I used blue, pink, yellow, whereas um, on the music magazine I stuck to the one maroon colour for the colour scheme to give it a more professional look. Also, um, I used a better layout on the on the music magazine. I used a better layout in the way that I laid out the text along the um, along the middle with a banner rather than just like one piece of information, one cover line uh, along the left hand side. And I think it gives it more professional look like a real music magazine. And I think I've improved in the sense that I've I've realised how to adapt the uh, real kind of the real um, aspects of a magazine into mine. Also the different fonts that I've used in the text. Um, in comparison to the college magazine, the music magazine is so much better in terms of professional look, um, including in the way that I've used the and then used the fonts because I've edited all the size of the fonts so that they're smaller and they fit on the page and they look more, more like better on the page. Um, whereas on the college magazine, it was all sort of laid out a bit randomly and all the fonts the same. And there was no variation in it. It all looked a bit bland. Also, I think I've improved in the sense that I've um, took better photography in the college magazine. It was sort of like very fake, very staged, and uh, I didn't edit it. I just, you know, used the refine edge tool to cut around it and just stuck it on. Whereas um, in the cover page, in the cover page of my music magazine, I, I did a lot of editing onto it, uh, like the contrast, and I blurred the background and put another image over the top of it so it stood out and edited the brightness so it affected it and like cast a shadow over the side of his face and just made it all look a bit more professional. <clears throat> On to my, um, my contents page. Um, it looks professional and I've improved in the sense that the layout is more, you know, it looks better because the layout on the on the college magazine, it's sort of very bland. It's just along one side, and it doesn't fill much of the page, so it's not very detailed in the sense that I just put what it was rather than information about it. Whereas on the college mag on the music magazine, I said what would be on the page, and then a little bit of information underneath it. So you know you can identify which part you wanted to read, and then just pick it out because it was, had more information underneath of it. Also, um, like I said on about the cover page, I have much better photography now. Um, I edited it, edited the image on the music magazine, whereas I didn't on the on the college magazine. It looks very staged and very fake, and it just doesn't look like it fits on the page. Also, I um, the text on the page that I've used on the music magazine, um, I've I put bits in bold and put bits in you know smaller case and bigger case to create a variation, like a differentiate between like what's information and what the what's specifically on the page whereas on the on the college magazine I just put it all in the same font the same um the same size it just all looked very you know very bland very the same very similar all the way throughout and it didn't create this aesthetically pleasing um side of it <laughs> Also, I um, I differentiated the sections into columns onto the on my newest magazine, which I didn't on the college magazine, and I think I've improved in the sense that, like overall the layout's a lot better. It looks more like a professional magazine, whereas on the on the college magazine it just looked like anyone could have done it. It looked nothing professional at all, um, and the layout's just really improved. Um, also, the the text and the images and all like continuing on the layout it's all sort of bunched together and there's no real like professional look to it on the college magazine whereas on the on the music magazine I've, I've laid it out very specifically I've been quite articulate in the way that I've laid it out so it looks quite professional like the way I've put the editor's message and the regular and the features to differentiate which ones are which and the little bit of text over the image I think it just makes it all look all in all a bit more professional and more like a real magazine whereas on the um, on the contents page of the other one it just looks a bit like unprofessional in the sense that it's all clumped together all not very differentiated it's just you know it's 
not got as much editing in the photos and stuff like that, and it just looks a little bit bland. Um, the double page spread, I didn't do a double page spread for the for the college magazine, but um, I've improved in the sense that, um, like I said, the layout on the fonts and the editing of the image, the way to create the contrast and the shadowing and, the, and hence the brightness and stuff like that and the layout. Um, in comparison to the other pages that I did on the college magazine, um, I used a much smaller font, like put the questions and answer sections in bold, which I would have never done if I did it on the college magazine. Uh, just all in all, over the pages, a quick overview. I um, I improved in the sense that the layout is a lot better. Um, I used a colour scheme which I didn't use in the college magazine. It was all sort of different colours like blue and pink and yellow. Just no real like background, no like just really unprofessional. Uh, whereas in the new one, I sort of looked at recent magazines uh, such as like Enemy, you know, real ones. Uh, and see how I could adapt certain features of it onto mine to make it look a lot more professional. Okay, so that was my answer to question 7 in the AS Media coursework. Uh, comparing my old college magazine to uh, new, my new magazine and what I've done differently and what I've improved on.